Foundry was really uh, prompted by the notion and understanding that almost 75% of mental health concerns and substance use concerns occur by the time someone is 24. And so the idea really was to not create a stigmatizing environment, but one where young people could access services with relative anonymity, with the confidence that the center would be youth focused and youth friendly. Our integrated services are so important for youth to have access to as it's really a one-stop shop. So instead of a youth having to go from doctor to counselor to peer supporter and having to share their story over and over again, Foundry makes it possible for them to tell their story once and have a team that just works together to then support them ongoing. I think Foundry has had a significant impact. Within the past two years, uh, simply at Foundry centres, there are over 30,000 youth who have attended those centres. One of the most remarkable questions that Foundry asks as youth uh, attend the sites is, where would you have gone? Would you have gone somewhere else? One out of four said, I would have gone nowhere who are now entering the system, accessing services, and will get supported. Foundry is a really great example of innovation in the public service uh, because it's literally uh, creating something where nothing existed. It's a model built for youth, by youth. It started out as one site, is now has 11 in operation, eight more currently in implementation, and plans for further expansion of another four to bring the total to 23 in uh, two or three years. There's innovative partnerships, but there's also the sustainable partnerships. Government and philanthropy and research community and health authorities, youth and family, nonprofits, from grassroots through to government. Uh, there are a number of other things that are coming on side. You know, we're strengthening the youth substance use system of care. And so Foundry and integrating Foundry as part of the system is also some ongoing work uh, that uh, requires some attention and that ongoing partnership. So since we launched our virtual services in April of 2020, I'm good, thank you. How are you? We have served over 2,000 unique individual youth, which is pretty exciting to see. And over the year, as our team has grown, we've also been able to now serve over 4,600 individual services, which is pretty exciting to see. So I think what's really important for uh, folks in BC to understand is that this is really quite unique. I think it's really important to acknowledge that there is a lot of advocacy for this model to exist in communities where they don't have one. So that if this is something that a community wants, we will do everything we can to get to that place where they have one.